Shalom from Jerusalem, all my friends in the BBYO. Uh, I remember when I was your age and I always envied the, the previous generations that they had a huge challenge, you know, founding the, the State of Israel or um, Six Day War where they uh, united Jerusalem. And I asked myself, how, how can I do something meaningful? What can I do that would also uh, leave a dent? And I'm gonna get back to that question in just a moment. In the meantime, I want to tell you about what's going on in Israel these days. Israel is in a very good direction. We have the most diverse government in the history of Israel. Uh, different people with different opinions working together, left and right, Jews and Arabs, religious and secular Jews. And we're doing an amazing experiment of seeing how people that hold very different opinions can work together for the good of a country. And I'm looking all around the world and I know there's many democracies facing the same degree of polarization uh, where, where at some point you think and feel that your political opponent is an enemy, but they're not enemies. And what we've learned uh, during this remarkable experiment of, of the government that I run is people with different opinions are not enemies. We're brothers and sisters working together for Am Israel, uh, for the state of Israel. So what can you do? Well, here's what you can do. You can stand up for Israel and fight for the truth. You see, the beauty in Israel that's going on with a growing economy, <coughs> economy huge opportunities with uh, different people working together while at the same time fighting our enemies and building a remarkable society here in, in, in within Israel, this story is not what's being told outside. And that's not how Israel is portrayed. And therefore, each and every one of you can actually learn more about Israel and start speaking up for Israel. When you see someone speaking negatively about Israel or lying about Israel in social media or on campus or in high school or wherever, you can speak up. That's something that you can do to get, uh, today. I uh, see a very powerful future between the Jewish people around the world and in America and Israel. So we're gonna stand together. I want every one of you to know that Israel is your second home. We're always here for you and I know you'll always be there for us. Thank you very much.